Hello everyone. We Zusa Engineers India Private Limited have offered a four effect falling film evaporator with TVR for the concentration of milk. Steam is used here as the driving force for the water evaporation. The whole process will be carried out under vacuum. Let's go to the process. Initially, the raw skimmed milk of 8% TS at 6 degrees Celsius temperature from the silo will be pumped to the float balance tank in order to maintain a constant supply of milk in the evaporator plant. Skimmed milk then will pass through a primary duplex filter where it is constantly filtered. Milk is then pumped through a centrifugal feed pump to the evaporator plant. The desired inlet flow is set by electromagnetic flow transmitter. This will ensure the proper feed and also measures the flow. The milk then passes through a pre-condenser for achieving regeneration and through series of tubular preheaters that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. The pre-hot milk then flows into a direct steam injection system. During this process, pure filtered steam will be injected in the DSI and milk shall be heated up to 90 degrees Celsius. Further, milk will pass through the holding tube where it will be held for 45 seconds. After the holding milk pass through regenerative flash vessels and from there to the top of the first calendria. As the temperature reaches to the set temperature of 90 degrees Celsius, vapor compression units TVR, steam valve will open and steam will be inject in the shell side of first calendria and part of steam will also be inject in the vapor separator and start the evaporation process. Here the recovered pure hot condensate water at 70 degrees Celsius from first calendria will be collected in first condensate bottle and will be pumped out from a condensate pump to boiler. The milk flows down to the bottom of each calendria and gets evaporated. Vapors and a part of milk enter the first vapor separator. Further milk from the bottom is pumped to the second calendria and so on until the fourth effect. The vapors from the first vapor separator go in the shell of the second calendria and used as heating media and so on up to the fourth effect and remaining unpure condensate water at 50 degrees Celsius from 2nd, 3rd and 4th calendria will be collected in 2nd condensate bottle will be pumped out from a condensate pump. The condensate is stored and can be used for cleaning purposes. Final hot vapor from 4th vapor separator go in the pre-condenser for heat recovery. Remaining dead vapors go to the surface condenser for cooling and condensation. Final concentrated milk having a total solid range from 28 to 45 percent at 45 degree temperature will be collected in final concentrated balance tank. Further, the hot concentrated milk from the tank will be pumped to a two-stage chiller where the hot concentrated milk will be chilled down to 1 degree Celsius and finally will be stored in the milk concentrated silo. Thanks for watching this video.